Well, hey there, happy day 81 of the BP Challenge. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, also known as Pajama Grandma. Today, day 81 of our challenge, or health, your health, whatever you're doing for the challenge. Me, health, blood pressure. I need to get my blood pressure down, so I wanted to do a challenge to challenge myself to not have to take a prescription drug. And in order to do that, and since I was doing it anyway, I thought, why not bring you right along with me? You can be doing a health challenge, a weight loss challenge, a lifestyle challenge, a business challenge. I normally, if you follow me at all, know I do business challenges. I help people get more customers. I help people um, increase their customer experience. I do all kinds of things to help you grow and supersize and build your business. But I also, like everybody else, have aspects of my life that I need to pay a little bit of attention to if I'm going to still be here to do challenges, to do whatever it is I love to do, which is a whole lot of things. Uh, so today, we started talking yesterday about <clears throat> systemization and automation. How are we going to take the things that we're doing that are working, that we want to do continually going forward to move us toward our goals and objectives or our major goal and objective. Me, I don't want to just do a 90 day push to reduce my blood pressure and then stop everything. If I do that, what's going to happen? My blood pressure is going to climb right back up. Definitely not the result that I want. I want to reduce my blood pressure and I want to keep it down forever. I mean, literally forever. But in order to do that, there's things I'm going to have to put in place to make sure that happens. That's why we've taken a holistic approach to all different aspects of our being, human beingness, and <clears throat> now we want to incorporate those into long-term systems or habits that happen automatically. The way we do that is we first identify the process. What is the process? How do we do the things that we do? So yesterday we, I said, okay, think about one thing you want to carry forward and just identify that one thing. I identified that I want to continually check and monitor my blood pressure. How do I know what my blood pressure is and that I'm keeping it down if I'm not measuring it, if I'm not checking it on a regular basis? So the process I chose to define was checking my blood pressure, literally, physically checking my blood pressure. You know, people that have diabetes or things, they have to use the device and check their, their blood sugars and their blood levels every day or their I'm not sure what they measure. I know they have to poke their finger and check their blood. So they have to check their numbers every day, sometimes a couple times a day, to monitor their blood sugar and make sure that they're doing the right things with their insulin and with their diet to stay healthy, right? To not pass out and die. Same thing with blood pressure. If I want to continue to keep my blood pressure low, I need to monitor it at some frequency. So the process I defined, they said I was going to define is checking blood pressure. Well, how do you do that? How do you define a process? <clears throat> First, you take a drink of coffee so you don't have a cloggy throat. You do that just by asking yourself and then writing down, how do I do this thing? It's something that you're already doing and we're not looking at every aspect of it. We'll do that over the next couple of days. But for right now, it's just what do you do? Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five to do the process. So what do I do to check my blood pressure? You grab my magnifying glass so I can tell you. I just wrote these down right before I hit the play on the camera. So here we go. Choose and get your blood pressure measuring device. Now, there's a couple of different type devices that I happen to have, and I should have them here to show you, but I don't. One is the traditional cuff. When you go to the doctor, they have that cuff to that sleeve they slip on your arm. I've got one of those. I also have from my dad a wrist cuff. I personally like the wrist cuff because it's super duper easy. You put it on your wrist and then you push the button. I like that. I like the automation of that. So that is probably the one I'll use. But I'm, I define through the process of both because sometimes maybe I'll just check my blood pressure when I'm at the store. You know how they have those machines you can stick your arm in and check your blood pressure. The thing about using different devices, and we'll talk about this as well, is you might get different numbers and different results. So you don't necessarily take those with 100%. Oh my God, my blood pressure's up because I'm shopping and I put my arm in the machine and it said my blood pressure's high. Not necessarily. Uh, so the first step for me is to get my device. What device am I gonna use? Decide that and then go get it, physically get it. The second step is to sit down, relax, and uncross my legs. As I'm sitting with my legs crossed, I know the first thing I actually have to write that down because I have to remember to have our feet flat on the floor and uncross my legs. The third thing is I just slip the cup around my arm or the device on my wrist. The fourth step then is to either push the button, which is the one I like, or um, some of the devices have the pump still where you have to pump them up. So you just pump it up, you know, get the pressure on your hand and then release and as it releases, wait 
quietly sit as still as possible, which is hard for some of us, until um, all the air is out of the device. Then you just look at the results, what's your blood pressure, and then write it down. That is a simple seven step process. Could it be simpler than that? Yeah, hey, check your blood pressure, write it down every day or whatever frequency you're gonna do it at. But the point is, whatever process that you're gonna carry forward with you after the challenge, because the challenge is ending in less than 10 days now, is something that you wanna document because the first step of creating a system out of something and then automating it and hopefully delegating it so someone else could do it and you don't always have to be the one that does everything yourself, is to define and document that process. It becomes a great training tool. Now, if I was incapacitated and somebody needed to check my blood pressure and they didn't know how, if this is written down somewhere, maybe like right by my device in the container that holds my wrist device, somebody knows, hey, they can just stick it on and push the button and they're good to go. But if they didn't have this and they'd never taken someone's blood pressure before, I think my children, I mean, have they ever taken anyone's blood pressure? I doubt it. Or my granddaughter, they wouldn't know what to do, but if it's written down, other people can know what to do and then they can be actually the ones that do and perform the tasks so we don't have to be doing everything ourselves. That's my favorite thing about processes is if I document my processes, now I can train someone else to do it and I can hand it off. If there's something that I have to do more than once, I document the process and not just once. I mean, you pay your bills. I don't necessarily document the process of how I pay my bills or and everything, you know, how I make a piece of toast. But if there's something that I have to do over and over and over again, and I don't love to do it, I'm gonna document that process so that I can teach someone else how to do it and I can get it off my plate as quickly as possible. So today, your challenge is to just write down the steps of the process that you decided that you were going to take forward with you outside the challenge, which you're gonna to turn to into a habit and continue to do after the challenge is over. Write down, just grab a little post-it note or a piece of paper and say, and just don't analyze it, just write, what, what do you actually do right now? to do that process. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Just write down, you don't even have to number it, just write down what you do to get the result that you want. What are, you, are the steps involved in that process? Now, process definition, again, I wrote a book on this, so you can make this whole thing we're gonna cover in the next couple of days super duper complicated, or you can keep it really simple like me, grab a piece of paper, write down what you do for the process you wanna carry forward. That's it. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow, and we'll talk a little bit more in depth about now what do you do now that you know what the steps are, what's the next thing you're going to do with this. Have an amazing day. If I can help you in any way or you have questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.